to another week of Faith Connection. I hope you had a really good week, whatever you were doing. And if you were able to join in and watch the Holiday Bible Club online this week, we hope you had a really good time and enjoyed it as much as we did. And if you didn't get the chance to join in and watch the Holiday Bible Club videos, they're all still available on our YouTube channel and on the Facebook page. So please go and watch them and see what we had been learning about all week. We had been looking at the story of Ruth and how Ruth had become a part of God's family. But before she could become part of God's family, there's a decision she had to make. And we're going to kind of be talking about a similar situation and the decision we have to make before we can be part of God's family. But before we start off our story today, we're going to pray together. So everyone put your hands up. And when you bring your hands down, pass your eyes, close your eyes. Then pass your mouth, close your mouth. Then pass your chin and bow your heads and we'll talk to God. Dear God, thank you for an amazing week of Hulda Bible Club online. Thank you that you helped us to learn so much, Lord. And I pray that you would help us to remember everything that we did learn about you. Lord, help us to listen today as we learn more about you from this story and help us to remember whatever it is we learn. I pray all these things in your precious name. Amen. So today our Bible story is found in John chapter 3 and what I want you to do is go and get your Bibles if you don't have, already have it in front of you and then come back and get yourself comfy as we listen to God's word together. So our Bible story is found in John chapter 3 starting at verse 1. There was a man named Nicodemus who was one of the Pharisees and an important Jewish leader. One night, Nicodemus came to Jesus and said, Teacher, we know you are a teacher sent from God, because no one can do the miracles you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. Unless one is born again, he cannot be in God's kingdom. Nicodemus said, But if a person is already old, how can he be born again? He cannot enter his mother's body again. So how can a person be born a second time? But Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. Unless one is born from water and the spirit, he cannot enter God's kingdom. Human life comes from human parents, but spiritual life comes from the spirit. Don't be surprised when I tell you, you must all be born again. The wind blows where it wants to and you hear the sound of it, but you don't know where the wind comes from or where it is going. It is the same with every person who is born from the spirit. Nicodemus asked, how can this happen? Jesus said, you are an important teacher in Israel and you don't understand these things. I tell you the truth. We talk about what we know and we tell you about what we have seen, but you don't accept what we tell you. I have told you about things here on earth and you do not believe me. So you will not believe me if I tell you about things of heaven. The only one who has ever gone up to heaven is the one who came down from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, the Son of Man must also be lifted up so that everyone who believes can have eternal life in him. God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only Son so that whoever believes in him may not be lost, but have eternal life. God did not send his son into the world to judge the world guilty, but to save the world through him. People who believe in God's son are not judged guilty. Those who do not believe have already been judged guilty because they have not believed in God's one and only son. They are judged by this fact. The light has come into the world, but they did not want light. They wanted darkness because they were doing evil things. 
all who do evil hate the light and will not come to the light because it will show all the evil things they do. But those who follow the true way come to the light and it shows that the things they do were done through God. Okay, so I know a lot of that story might have been a little bit confusing. But this story was all about a man called Nicodemus. And he came to Jesus at night asking the question about how he could be saved. He didn't really understand what it was all about. See, Nicodemus was a Pharisee and that meant he was one of the religious leaders. So he knew all about the Ten Commandments. He knew about God. He knew about how he should be living his life, but he didn't really understand everything there was to believe. You see, Jesus was telling this man that he had to be born again. And Nicodemus was so confused. What does it mean to be born again? Well, to be born again means to ask Jesus to forgive you for your sins and then change your life around. Instead of living your own way, it means you start a new life living God's way and serving him and obeying his commands. But Nicodemus hadn't made that decision yet. Yes, he was going to church or he was going to pray. Yes, he was following the commandments and all the laws that the religious leaders had decided. But he hadn't made that decision to follow Jesus and trust in him and live his life for him properly. He hadn't made the decision and realised that he was a sinner and needed Jesus' forgiveness. And so Jesus was telling him that the only person who could do that was God. He was telling Nicodemus about how the Son of Man, who is Jesus, had to come down into the world as a little baby to die on the cross so that you and I could have our sins forgiven. And the Bible verse, John chapter 3 verse 16, tells us that God loved the whole world so much and that includes you and it includes me. That he sent his only son into the world to die on the cross so that you and I could have our sins forgiven. And so Jesus was explaining to Nicodemus that that is what he had to do. Even though all the things he was already doing, like following the commandments, was good, he needed to make the decision and understand that he needed to have his sins forgiven. It wasn't enough to just obey the commands or live as a good person. He needed to make the decision to ask Jesus to forgive him for his sins and trust in him and live his life for him completely. And I know that's really hard to understand, but maybe you haven't really made that decision yet. Maybe you haven't decided to follow Jesus or ask him to forgive your sins. And I wonder, will you think about that today? I wonder, will you think about making that decision today, about asking Jesus to forgive you for your sins? And then you can be a part of God's family. And that's what it means to be born again, to be part of a new family. Even though you'll still have your family here on earth, when you ask Jesus to forgive you for your sins and you trust in him, then you become part of a new family and that's God's family. And how amazing would that be? So now we're going to do our little experiment. So hopefully you have everything sitting in front of you that you need. So you need your big bowl and you need a glass of warm water filled almost to the top. Then you need some vinegar, some food colouring. It doesn't matter what colour it is, it can be any. Some baking soda or bicarbonate of soda and some washing up liquid, okay? So if you have that all sitting in front of you, I want you to make sure that your glass is inside your bowl and then take your food colouring and add a few drops into the war, okay? It doesn't matter if it falls out over your bowl because it's happening to mine a little bit. But add a few drops in, okay? So, the coloured water represents you and it represents me. And in the story, we find out that Nicodemus, he was one of the religious leaders. So he was following all the commandments and all the laws that were set out by the religious leaders. 
and he knew a lot about the old testament and he knew about god and he followed god but he hadn't made that decision to follow jesus yet and to ask jesus to forgive him he knew there was something missing and maybe that's a bit like you so i want you to take your bag and soda and it's going to represent different things you might do so maybe it was going to church before lockdown or maybe you were part of gb or bb and now you're watching the faith connection and those things are all really good to do but they don't make you part of god's family and they don't make your sins forgiven so i want you to take your bacon soda and add it in to your water and it's about two tablespoons worth so if you add that into your water so it's changing a wee bit and your colour is becoming a wee bit lighter and yes these are all really good things to do but remember these don't save you these things don't make your sins forgiven there's still something else you need to do okay or maybe you try and be really good at home and you obey your mum and dad. Or maybe you try and make sure you learn the different memory verses there are on Faith Connection. Because just like Nicodemus, he knew a lot about the Old Testament and probably could tell you some of it off by heart. And maybe that's a bit like you, you're learning the memory verses and you could tell other people exactly what the different memory verses say. But again, knowing the Bible and knowing what the memory verses say, those are really good things to do, but they don't save you and they don't forgive you for your sins, okay? So I want you to take your fairy liquid and add a few drops in and that represents maybe like learning the memory verses or trying to be really good at home. So yes, that's really good things to do, but they don't save you, okay? And there's something that's really important that we're missing we need to make the decision to ask jesus to forgive us for our sins even though those things are really really good to do and really important to do the most important thing and the most biggest decision we need to make in our lives is to trust jesus and ask him to forgive us for our sins and when we do that jesus completely changes our life because in the Bible story, it talked about being born again. And it doesn't mean being born again as a wee baby. It means our lives are completely changed around. So instead of just being plain and having all these different things in our lives, even though they're really important, like going to church or listen to Faith Connection, those are really good things to do, but they don't make us part of God's family. And so we need Jesus to make a change in our life. And the only way we can do that is to ask him to forgive us for our sins. And if we believe that Jesus died on the cross and that he rose again from the dead so that you and I can have our sins forgiven, then we can ask him to come into our lives and forgive us. And then we can be part of God's family and he will make a change in our lives so that we can start living our lives for him. So I want you to take your vinegar and add a few drops in and that represents Jesus in our life, okay? And as you add the vinegar in, okay, you can start to see the water is fizzling up, okay, and it fills up and starts to overflow because Jesus is making a change in our life, okay, and he is filling us up with what's called the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit was what Jesus left on earth when he went back to heaven. And the Holy Spirit is here to help us live our lives for God. And when we make the decision to ask Jesus to forgive us for our sins, the Holy Spirit comes into our lives and helps us to try and live our lives for God. And it doesn't mean that we will always make the right decision, but it means that we will try more and more to live our lives for God if we truly believe and truly trust in him and we really want to please God. So I hope you have learned a lot from today's lesson, but before we finish off, we're going to pray together. So put your hands up and bring them down.
and close your eyes, close your mouth and bow your head as we talk to God. Dear God, thank you for another lesson from Faith Connection. Thank you for your word, the Bible, that we can learn so much from it, Lord. And Lord, I pray that you would help us to remember that we need to make the decision to trust in you. That it is not enough to just read your word or to listen to Faith Connection every week. But we need to make the decision ourselves to ask you to forgive us for our sins so that we can be part of your family. That you will make a change in our lives so that we will start living our lives for you. I pray all these things in your precious name. Amen. So we will see you next week. Bye.